So people ask all the time, Dr. Tam, what do chiropractors do? Well, if you're already in the office, you know what we do. This video is for people who are not in the office, who are wondering, what do chiropractors in general do? Do they treat men and women differently? Well, not so much treat men and women differently, but do men and women have different types of treatments that need to be dealt with? Well, the first answer is, yeah, men and women are different. Our body's different, our biomechanics are different, bone structures are different, and studies show that, unfortunately, women suffer from more headaches and neck pain than men do. Now, you might think, well, why, why is there such a big difference? Could it be hormonal, right? As a woman go through menopause, more likely to lose calcium in the body? Yeah, that could be possible as well. Are men built naturally with more muscle mass, port to bone structures? Yes. Through childbearing and having children, are moms more likely during that period to have more pelvic pain, sciatica, than men do, of course. So there's physiological differences. And that's why treatments, sometimes treatment plans, are done different. But it's really individualized. What most people have to understand is that treatment plans are done individualized per person. Same thing, same reason why children will have a completely different treatment plan than adults do, right? It will behoove you to believe that children are treated like little adults because they're not. Their bones are not formed the same way. Their tailbone is not completely formed yet like adults are. Their activity levels are different. There are a lot more cartilage in their body than actually bone structures that are completely formed, right? So you have to take that into effect or into account when you're treating kids versus adults. Through PubMed, there was a article that came out. The article that came out talked about how spinal manipulation adjustments to the body. Some of you who've been to chiropractors know it as adjustment, right? It's spinal manipulation. You can call it adjustments. What it does is that it helps alleviate neck pain. This study showed that spinal adjustment alter blood levels of neuropeptides. Now, neuropeptides are the protein made by the nervous system that serve as neurotransmitters and it elicits pain. So what that means is, as you are getting adjusted, hormones are actually being released in the body, in male and female and children, to counteract this pain that our body sees. And it's been able to be measured in blood level. How huge is that? That is four years ago now, 2019. But it showed that a chiropractic adjustment can actually change the hormone and blood level to a certain degree. Now that's very powerful. So let's talk about lower back, you know, the discomfort in the lower back, pain in the lower back. It is the number one musculoskeletal reason why people end up hospitalized and also end up in the ER, right? Maybe you knew that, maybe you didn't. So that being said, lower back pain in 2006 alone cost the US economy $100 billion, two thirds of which are indirect cost of lost wages and productivity. Now, chiropractic has the potential to be a technique that treats this area. According to a 2017 research that looked at placebo effects up to six weeks, which means that they took a group of people, they did spinal manipulation adjustments, a group that didn't. And what they saw, the group that did not get treated, of course, did not get better. But the group that was treated got significantly better over six weeks and was measured in function, measured in lifestyle, on top of the amount of pain that they were in after all this time. Now, there are a lot of people in the world, especially Americans, millions, that suffers from chronic low back pain. And physicians and doctors suggest that their patients who have suffered low back pain, they a lot of them, especially a lot of the new ones, right? The new ones who are, you might call it more new age, more well-prepared. Maybe they're on social media more and see the benefits of chiropractic care, more holistic care in general, right? And what happens is here's the list of things that doctors are suggesting that patients do before they go through drug, really a series of drugs, shots, and surgery. Number one is spinal manipulation, chiropractic adjustments. They also recommend acupuncture, yoga, tai chi, progressive muscle relaxation, and then also meditation as well. How many of you are actually doing these things to make sure that your body is doing the best? Are you not? Are you just hoping that your back is gonna get better? Because I tell you what, if your back 
by now is been suffering for the last six weeks. It's not something that's going to go automatically get better on its own. If it's more than six weeks, something else is wrong. What we do in our clinic is we really look at how the body is functioning, right? Going back to the male and female topic, we do see more mom in the clinic that have waited way longer to get their back treated than guys. I'll say it, guys, we're kind of weak when it comes to pain. A lot of us don't take pain well. I don't care how much you work out. It's not the soreness of the pain that you're talking about. It's actual pain. And guys, we don't take it well. Whereas moms, when you ask them, what's their pain level, zero to 10? They're like, oh, a five. Why is it a five? Because a 10 for them is having a child. You know, those who haven't had a child can still relate, right? Ladies just instinctively have more pain tolerance. That's my experience. If you've experienced something else, be sure to comment below. But guys in general, the moment something's not right, we freak out. We act like a baby. All the women can testify on that. But moms, when something's not right, they wait it out. What we see in the clinic is because moms go forever, years. I'm not talking about weeks, days, or even months. Moms go years. We had a mom the other day that came in and I said, how long has this pain been bothering you? And she says, oh, it's been about 12 years. I said, 12 years? What have you been doing for the last 12 years? And she says, well, I have to take care of my kids. When my kids are grown, I have to take care of my mom. And now mom's not here with us anymore. So I believe it's time to take care of me. Gosh, those of you husbands out there, especially with Mother's Day, that just passed. You gotta take care of your wife, those who are kids and children. You gotta take care of your mom, right? Because mom, mom can suck it up. I've seen it. I've seen it in the office. Heck, when we do injections in the office, guys would pass out, low blood pressure all of a sudden, right? And they might even be a lot more afraid of the treatments because of the slight bit of pain, a pinch, whether it's an injection or whether it's a, a, a one of the techniques that we're adjusting with. And we even use a tool that's like the lowest impact ever. But moms, you guys take it like a champ. So for all the moms out there, you know, it's after Mother's Day. Thank you for what you do. And yeah, there's, there's a difference how men and women are treated. You know, the techniques that are done is important. It's important to understand what the needs, right? So for example, the calculations on the pelvis, it's different as well for moms and uh, guys and females. So male and female, I should say, to be politically correct. But ultimately, take care of your body. Hope you learned a lot today. Have a great day.